don't know what I'm talking about when I say the beatbox, don't you? You ever ask a girl at the club to dance? Hey, can I have a dance? with the beef. I'm like, yo, 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 Jay, just, just with J-Lo. You know, I know, I know, you know, what's wrong? I'm, I'm mad at you. I'm mad. I am so stinged at you. Because you did jokes about me. You said I couldn't sing. World star hip-hop, man. 2001 Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Stupid. Come on, man. Keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Oakland, we going to keep it real? I do what I do. You do what you do. Keep it real. And then that's when, that's when Puffy came in. He was like... Take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take And he stepped to me, but it was because of his woman, you know what I'm saying? I understand. I ain't got no people for him. He was trying to protect his woman and stuff. And he was like, and you know, I didn't really understand all he was saying. You know, puppy, puppy, you know, his mouth is a little afflicted. Because it didn't, you can't understand what, well, huh? First of all, I ain't really appreciate all that. Huh? What? Wait, what'd you say? Huh? I really appreciate all that. Take that, take that, take that. That's all right. Puppy, puppy, over here, over here, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. He just has too much juice in his throat, I think. You ever meet those people that's got a lot of juice in their throat? In their throat, they just juicy mouthed it. Be a dad, you got a juicy mouth, your mouth is juicy, juicy mouthed it. And you try to swallow for him like, You got me sweating. Any given Sunday, I got a chance to work with Al Pacino. Yeah, man. He had the same kind of juice problem. Like his lips, like when he gets to going, he got that extra. And you ever see people with that extra spit right there? You're like, how'd you get that? You got extra spit. And he was saying a lot of S's and T's. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I'm right here. He's killing me. I said, if I had a squeegee or an umbrella or something. And then one time he said, you do what you're fucking told. And the spit flew off of his lip and landed on my mouth. Shit, I can't even speak after this shit. I'm gonna fuck around and got the cooties. But I had a good time with it. I got a chance to do another movie. Muhammad Ali story. Will Smith. I'm moving up, but it's because of y'all. I'm moving up. I'm moving up. I'm moving up. That's all I'm saying. Blank, blank. You know. You know. But the thing about it is I got a chance to work with Will Smith, who was just incredible. To be making $20 million, man, and still cool like that. He gained 200. He was up to 232 pounds. Boxing. Solid. Muscle. I was like, Right there. And I don't know anybody, anybody mess around? Cause you, you see that? Anybody fuck around? You see what the fuck is happening right here? You see that? See, I train good. I train good. You know, I just don't take hits all that way. Cause my, my, my trainer was Sean. He told me, you know, I'm gonna hit you back. He said, I've been letting you know, get your get your bearings, but I'm gonna hit you back. I said, come on, play. Cause he let me get too full of myself. I felt like I was, you know what I'm saying, I was, bean, bean, come on and hit me then, player, hit me, mother, I'm going to hit you, I said, cool, you ever been hit so hard in your nose, you start crying and shaking your head, yeah, but ain't nobody ask you no question.
Fucking Richard Nixon up here. But doing the Ali story, I got a chance to go somewhere. Where did I go? Say it.